Hello, 127th Wing. I'm General Mauman, and welcome to 2023 and the January drill. Looking back at the December drill, I can't tell you how pleased I was with the commander's call. The questions that you asked were great, and we have a long list of questions to answer. And uh, one of the questions, actually two of the questions that I wanted to talk about today go directly toward the fourth line of effort, which I really didn't get into during the, uh, um, the commander's call, and that was Selfridge sustainability. The first question was the shifting of the runway to solve the clear zone problem to the south of the airfield. Now, keep in mind, we must solve that clear zone problem. We know now that it is an issue and we have to solve it. So the question came up, does it reduce our capabilities here at Selfridge? Actually, from a landing perspective, the runway does shorten a little bit. So we will have less landing runway than we currently have. That said, we plan on using our overruns as displaced thresholds, and we actually increase capability from takeoff, both to the south and to the north. So end game, it's a wash. We lose a little bit from, from a landing perspective, but where it really counts, uh, we gain capability from a takeoff going north and south. Another great question came up about electric vehicles uh, moving out for, uh, towards clean energy and the thoughts of how we are going to uh, leverage ourselves for that in the future. So currently, we are in a discussion with the state uh, and uh, the federal government about uh, uh, future design plans uh, for our infrastructure here at Selfridge, specifically the electrical system. Uh, right now, our electrical system is aging. Uh, it's been around for a lot of years and it needs some maintenance. I'm really not interested in upgrading the system to its current status. I want to create a system that's there for the 2100s, not for the, uh, the 2022s and the 2023s. So we're in that discussion right now to see what that looks like. And that would, in my view, include uh, um, uh, parking areas for EV vehicles, uh, transitioning of flight line vehicles to all electric and so forth. Now, granted, that's not gonna happen tomorrow and that's probably not gonna happen in the next five years, but we have to start someplace. So yes, we are working on those. So it's a great question. Now looking out to the future of 2023. I'm anticipating another busy year with some exercises. We have uh, an operational readiness exercise for the uh, tanker mission later in March and in April. We're sending A-10s into a northern strike exercise and winter strike exercise. Additionally, our efforts for highway landings that we've done here in the state of Michigan has, has gotten noticed, and we were invited by uh, the state of Wyoming to participate in a highway landing uh, out there later on in the summer. The plan would be to land A-10s on the highway and to refuel off of a C-130 in the middle of Wyoming. Again, that's all efforts that we've been recognized here that are now um, paying dividends elsewhere in the country, so well done. Also, looking out into the future, we have a deployment for the tanker set uh, later on this summer as part of a normal rotational deployment cycle. So it is gonna be a busy year. Looking out a little bit farther ahead in 2024, I'm very happy to announce our next air show will be the 8th and 9th of uh, June of 2024, where our headliner act will be the United States Thunderbirds. Really excited for that. Now, finally, I wanna talk a little bit more about uh, you and about uh, your professional development. Professional development doesn't start and stop with professional military education, but that is a critical part for your future as a leader in this organization. So I encourage everyone to do your PME when you are uh, available and when you're ready to do it. There's not a day that goes by uh, that I don't read or listen to something from my own professional development. I take it very, very seriously, and even at this level, I think it's important to continue to do on a daily basis. If you do that, that is a critical piece to our goal as being the best led, most efficient, effective, and adaptable organization in the United States Air Force. I appreciate your leadership and I appreciate your professionalism.